Chapter 6, Problem 108. So this is a rather intricate example, but I wanted to go through this because there's a lot of moving parts here. So we have an air conditioner with a refrigerant 134A as working fluid is used to keep a room cool at 23 degrees C by rejecting the waste heat to the outdoor air at 34 degrees C. The room gains heat through the walls and windows at a rate of 250 kilojoules per minute. While heat, the heat is generated by the computer TV lights amounts to 900 watts. The refrigerant enters the compressor at 400 kilopascals as a saturated vapor at a rate of 80 liters per minute and leaves at 1200 kilopascals at 70 degrees C. Determine A, the actual coefficient of performance, B, the maximum coefficient of performance, C, the minimum flow rate of the refrigerant as the compressor inlet to the same compressor inlet and exit conditions. So the first things we need to figure out here are the actual values for the enthalpy and the uh, uh, specific volume. So here we have a, drawn a picture of, in, out of the book here of the actual system itself. We can see that coming into the compressor, we have 400 kilopascal saturated vapor. Coming out of the compressor, going into the condenser, it's 1.2 million pascals at 70 degrees C. So we can look up in tables A11 through A13, the values we need for uh, out of the tables. And so I encourage you to go back and, and see if you can determine what those values are. I'm not gonna put up the tables, but uh, since we've had enough practice in the other examples, but please go back and actually see if you can actually uh, verify those values. So for part A, we need to calculate the actual coefficient of performance. So we're going to use the basic formula that I have shown down here at the bottom. And so I'm just going to show you, I didn't put it at the top. So we need to find uh, Q, Q out uh, dot, and we need to find the work in. Uh, in order to find the work in, we need to know the mass flow rates. So we can calculate the mass flow rate is to, uh, as follows, and, and we get 0 0.02601 kilograms per second. Be careful with the liters here. You have to convert that to, to cubic meters to match the units, but it comes in at 80 liters per minute, and you know what the specific volume is uh, from the tables, so you can, you can actually calculate what the value is. Now we can calculate the work in since we know that the, the uh, uh, differences in enthalpy. Uh, we can calculate the work in, 1.171 kilowatts. We can calculate QL uh, losses, uh, heat rejection. It's the heat, Q dot heat plus Q dot for your equipment. And we're, we're told both of those values, uh, 250 kilojoules per minute. Uh, that leaves through the walls and windows and uh, 0.9 kilowatts is through the uh, uh, heat generated by the computer, TV, and the lights. So you can add those two values up. So you can plug in the values from the above calculations. You can find the actual coefficient of performance is 4.33. Now on to part B. For part B, we want to calculate the maximum coefficient of performance. And the best you can do is for a reversible refrigerator. And if it's reversible, we're going to use the Carnot uh, approximation. So here we can plug in, we know what TH and T, T low are. They are uh, the uh, 34 degrees and the 23 degrees. Uh, you have to remember to convert those to, to Kelvin before you use them here. And you can calculate the Maximum coefficient of performance you could ever get would be 26.91. Part C. The maximum power input to the compressor for this same refrigeration load, you just use that new maximum coefficient of performance and kind of work the problem backward. Uh, it's QL dot over the coefficient of performance max. So you can calculate that as 0.1883 kilowatts. Then you can work yourself backwards. You can calculate the minimum mass flow rate. It's that power divided by the change in enthalpy, 0.004182. And then finally, you can calculate the minimum volume flow rate. 
and calculate to be 12.9 liters per minute. Again, parts B and C, these are just theoretical, theoretical values. You can never achieve that, uh, but that just tells you what's, what's the, the best you could ever do.